I value my freedom above all things, and perhaps stubbornly so. And if you're close to me, right, you will know exactly what I mean. Stupid bull. <laughs> Stupid lobe. Like, if anyone analyzes my life decisions, they'll be able to see, and it will be abundantly clear how much I value my freedom. But with life come certain events that you'll never be able to control. You won't have the freedom to decide whether you want to do it or not. Like, you're going to have to do it. There are going to be other events that just come your way. Things like people pissing you off, someone screwing you over, someone ruining a deal that you want to make, right? Or just someone just trying to get at you. I've realized that if you react mindlessly to these situations, you're losing your freedom. You're relinquishing all your power of choice to that event, to that person, whatever it may be. The reason why you lose your freedom is because you aren't in charge of your actions. It's your emotions. Whenever you react, it is your emotions. Like, let's say someone does something, and you're like, ah, shut up. Like, you didn't decide to say shut up. It was your emotions that urged you to say shut up, and you didn't make the choice whether you wanted to or not. You let your emotions govern your actions. And in that moment, you became a slave. And right now, you may be thinking that, ah, if I never react, then it means I'm not going to make any actions in life. I'm not going to move forward. I'm not saying don't respond to things that have happened. I'm just trying to tell you that reacting mindlessly is the worst thing you can do. Because it doesn't lead to anything good. Plus, you lose all your freedom. Like, what's the point of free will if you're not going to exercise it? So if I were to boil down this video into a sentence, it would simply be react don't reflect. Ah? Uh? TJ! TJ! Reflect. Don't react. Nobody wants to be a puppet, but in reality, most people are puppets mindlessly reacting to the things that happen to them. I want you to imagine an actual puppet that has strings attached to all its limbs. Whenever someone pulls a string, the puppet will just... Let's say there's a string attached to my arm and someone pulls it, I'm just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> someone pulls my head, I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. But... What I've realized is that most people are puppets in real life because as soon as someone does something, it causes an emotional reaction and they react to that emotional reaction. So someone who says something that they hate and they'll just be like, ah, ah, don't say that. And I find it crazy that people who absolutely hate someone but still give them the power to control their actions. You see, there's probably that person that you highly dislike in your life and they'll just, I don't know, they'll breathe and you'll just be like, Psst. Why is this person breathing? <laughs> and what you don't realize is that you're letting them control you. If someone has control over your actions, then you humiliate... <laughs> TJ! TJ! If someone has control over your actions, then you are merely a puppet for them. Because they can just pull your string and you... <laughs> what I've learned is that the best revenge... Well, not even the best revenge, but the best freedom one can have is to be free of other people's influences. So that means if someone says something that the old you would have been like, flip, I can't believe they said that, you don't even react. And I'm not saying be emotionless. I don't think you can control your emotional reactions to certain things. Emotions are there. They come, someone will say something that kind of attacks you and you'll be like, hmm. But what you can control is your reaction. People will still like see that string that's on your arm and try yank it. But now you decide whether you can just like resist it or now you just go wow. <laughs> and I truly know that the best freedom slash revenge one can have is to be free of someone else's influence. Because I know we've all had those experiences where you're trying to you're trying to entice someone, you're trying to annoy them, but they just don't care. Like, they literally don't care. You'll say something, and they just look at you. And they might say something like, do you feel good about yourself? <laughs> like, they ask you a soul-searching question, and you're like, damn. Yeah. And then now you just feel stupid. And I think it's good to have this for, like, most people in your life. I'm not saying don't be affected by anyone, don't care about anyone. But you shouldn't be in a state where you're always reacting, where you are always at the mercy of other people. I think you should live life in a state of reflection, in a state of just thinking about your actions before you do them. I am a very spontaneous person, so this will be seemingly hypocritical coming from me. But hey, hey, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. When you choose to reflect first, you retain your freedom. 
because it's no longer your emotions those urges that are deciding what you do it is your reasoning mind and i know that for most of this video i was using examples that pertain to relationships like let's say someone says something that you don't like someone tries to screw over your deal but the concept of this video transcends relationships it really applies to life in general i've analyzed this year specifically that most people make major life decisions by reacting like their major life decisions are reactions they don't think about what they're going to do they don't reflect they simply react to what life throws at them and you know at surface level that doesn't sound bad but reacting like i've said it's not you who's choosing what to do it's your emotions those urges so the sad thing is that after a few years of just reacting making decisions without any type or any foundation of reflection you'll find that you're living a life that you haven't chosen and you'll be like what is going on here what is this <laughs> and another funny thing is that we're all unique i believe we're all like snowflakes that everyone is an individual print but when you analyze most people's lives most people live the same life and that just shows that no one is actually thinking, reflecting about what they want to do. They're simply reacting to what life throws at them. Or they're too scared to stand out. And that's now a topic for another video. Reflection will lead you to being well equipped to living the life that God intended for you. And I think that the life that God intended for all of us is a unique life. So anyways, there's the quote for your week. Reflect, don't react.